Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. I don't believe this weekend's scary poll numbers. <laughs> Yay! Rachel Maddow did a breakdown last night. That uh, We mentioned that number, too. Those numbers flip if he gets convicted. I just right. think most people don't marinate in it like we do and talk right. to as many legal lads and ladies. He is going to be convicted. Do you really think these four trials, he's not going to be convicted of anything? The minute you, you factor in him being convicted in one of these trials... The, the numbers, I'm just saying. And it's a year out. Yes. And, that, and as I say, year. Chris, all the polls a year out are bold, unless there's ones I like. Which, exactly. Uh, in that case, I'm going to report this one. <laughs> Palmer reports says Biden is beating Trump by four points in a new poll today. You won't hear a word about it in the media. True. That is true. I Very mean, true. it really is all doomsaying for Biden. I, that that seems to be the only storyline they can stick on. And it, it anyway, I that. We'll talk to Renato, but I love when people are like, "What do you? What's the legal strategy here? What's he? He is a there lunatic. Is no, there There's is. no strategy. <laughs> Every we didn't even need all the legal experts to tell us that was a hot mess. He's screaming at the judge. He's screaming at the attorney general, and the judge is the one that decides. Exactly. He's already lost the trial. This is about how much the last thing you want to do legally is try to piss the judge off. Right. Oh my God! It may, yeah. but you know, when you go, oh, it's PR spin. It's so is he looks like the victim to his follower. It's isn't televised. Like Bob Seska said, this isn't televised. His disciples won't see it. There isn't a jury to perform for. This is just what he's like—a petulant, obnoxious, brittle little man who's caught red-handed. Uh, I mean, that's exactly what it is. And it, as Michael Cohen said, this one is. Why do you think he's there? If he doesn't have to be there, he had to be there yesterday. Right. But he doesn't have to be there. And he's probably going to have to be there money. again. It's, it's his money. It's his whole charade it's yeah. his whole pay no attention to the man behind the curtain this whole thing's a fraud yeah he's gonna have to be there again when he testifies um for the other side is he gonna testify yeah. again yeah that that's, that's i have a question the defense should i have a question him. do he and ivanka uh, monitor each other's porn intake i think I, they do yeah will that be covered eric is like what's boring what no eric knows oh does he oh eric oh, knows eric knows I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say, but here... To and Don can't, some more Don Jr. can't do it anymore because of certain <laughs> things. He used. Yeah, he can't. Do you, no. need, do you need a Kleenex? Yeah, a little. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> more tish, James. And engaging in name-calling, um, but I will not be bullied. I will not be harassed. This case will go on. We look forward to hearing the testimony of Ivanka Trump on Wednesday, and then we plan on closing our case. Yes, and finally, justice will prevail. You're here. And it's important that all of you understand um, that we have already been victorious in our motion for summary judgment. Um, and now we look forward to disgorgement and to the remaining counts in our action against Donald Trump and his repeated and consistent fraud against the citizens of the great state of New York. That one, Eric's like, engorgement? What is this? A is this the porn star or the rape trial again? Because it sounds like engorgement. It, it sounds like engorgement. It sounds it dirty, but it's not, Eric. It's not. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I played both roles there. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Oh my God! I might did have. you hear about all this? The uh, if you uh, the judge said if you want to learn about the disclaimer cause, read my opinion for the first time. The judge said to yeah Trump. Well, Trump was in mid tantrum. Trump said the judge was wrong. I think it's fraudulent. The decision. The fraud's on the court. One, the New York Daily News said, this is unbelievable. Trump has been screaming insults at A.G. James in the front row. The fraud is here! And completely lost it at Angoran. He, he called me a fraud. He didn't even know anything about me. You know nothing about me. You believe this political hack over there. Wow. It says patented, I know you are, but what am I? Uh -huh. Strategy. It's the Pee Wee Herman legal strategy, which seems to be going so well. I know well. you are, but what am I? You're a nerd. I know you are, but what am I? You're an idiot. I know you are, but what am I? I know you, you are, are, but what am I? I, I know, know you are, are, but what am I? Oh, dear Jesus, whiny little bitch. When Trump looks at his Fox News, so many things said by Steve Ducey. When Trump looks at his iPhone So many different things that he tweets Very strange He's gonna drive us off a cliff Run us right straight into a ditch He's out 
to make himself more rich. Oh no, cause he's a whiny little bitch, yeah. yeah. Wow, right. nice, Rocky nice. Mountain Mike. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Alina Haba. Oh, bless bless you. you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> first of all, has she never been in a courtroom? Apparently does not. Does she only have the parking garage? Ca- I love someone did the meme. Sit down, parking garage lawyer. Yes. <laughs> That's, that was our listener. Somebody listens uh-huh. to us. But, um, I, or has she not watched any court show ever? That's all judges do is tell <laughs> attorneys to sit down. Yep. She's like, you know, me sit down. <laughs> You have a right to hire a lawyer who can stand up and say something when they see something wrong. But I was told to sit down today. I was yelled at and I had a judge who was unhinged slamming a table. Let me be very clear. I don't tolerate that in my life. I'm not going to tolerate it here. Oh, yeah, you will. You sat down. And you know what? You shouldn't either. She did sit down. Yeah, so you remember that when you commit massive years of fraud. You just remember, you shouldn't tolerate a judge saying you've committed massive fraud your entire life. So wait, she's going with the uh, Beaver Cleaver strategy? Yep. The judge hollered at me in junk. <laughs> Stop. That's not... Mom. <laughs> the judge is not allowed to holler at you. Every every show, every trial, what do you call it? Court show in the history of the world. Watch Judge Judy. It's half the show is sit down. <laughs> yep. Watch Judge um, Judy. That's all you need yeah, to do. Yeah, I mm-hmm. see. <laughs> Judge Wapner said that quite often. He did, Wapner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Jack uh, E. Smith on Twitter, not that one. He said, I had previously said it would not be smart for him to plead the fifth because it could be used to infer culpability. I stand corrected. Yeah. He should have pleaded the fifth. He should have. <laughs> That's, I don't, we got to talk to Renato about, I don't get, because he took the fifth a bunch of times in the deposition, right? right? This was... I don't know what this was. Like Nick. Bob says, there's no jury. No. This isn't televised. No. It, the judge is the only one, and, and he went out of his way to piss the judge right. off. But there are reporters in the room, and yeah. there are photographs. I mean, I love right. the sketch artists. Oh by God, the way. they're fantastic. Uh, but you know, they, I, you know, he is being. I think he thinks he's on television. I don't think he realizes it. Yeah, I, right. Because there are cameras and they're taking pictures. Yeah. Oh no, he's just a lunatic. Yeah. That's the only way that you can. I mean, we're not going to talk a little more um, about you know, like other legal experts have about. <laughs> Is this a deliberate strategy? Because his lawyers are doing it too. Yeah, they're trying, trying deliberately to provoke the judge and attack they're his trying clerk. Trying to make it an appe- right. appeal. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I think they're trying for. Is that he'll overreact somehow and it'll be better on appeal. They know they've lost. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they were saying. Is like this isn't a strategy about winning. They they've lost already, and it's just like it's about damages. It's yeah. not about the trial. Trial's over. Yeah. Um. Uh, Rachel Maddow, uh, poll whisperer. My latest poll whisperer uh, last <laughs> night. She, she <laughs> comforts you. Yes highlighted some my binky she highlighted some significant poll re, uh, re, uh, results that spelled big warning signs for republicans uh last night this we mentioned the one thing you know in this poll that came out yesterday that everybody was freaking out about um she said interesting um, even in this poll those results flip when people are asked about a potential conviction for trump and any of the felonies he's charged with in the same poll all six of those six swing states will go for biden if trump is convicted on any count in any of his trials mm-hmm. um i, I I don't know how good you are at math, but Not he's very. going to be convicted. <laughs> it's 91 counts. Um, so anyway, he said, she said, she went on to say, so you see why his effort is to try not to not necessarily beat all these charges and all these civil suits. It's to say that the legal system doesn't matter. It isn't in power and the legal system doesn't need to be obeyed. That's exactly it. Yeah. Um she was uh, pointing out too, twelve only twelve percent of Kentucky voters support the total abortion ban in that state. She said uh, one last poll number I think isn't getting the attention it should, particularly from the pundit class. Uh, it's this number: seventy one percent, seventy one percent support American uh, um, uh, percent Americans have a favorable view of labor unions by a huge margin yeah. right now. Seventy one percent support. That's higher than at any time in my lifetime. Higher than any time since the nineteen sixties. Um, she also said uh, 12% of Kentuckians who are about to head to the polls on to decide on the gubernatorial race uh, support a total abortion ban. So we will talk to Cliff Schechter, who's, you know, out in Ohio today. Uh, issue one there, issue two. Um, Virginia, obviously. Yunkin, despite his moderate sweater vest. Not. Guys. He's awful. 
He has said total abortion ban. Go to the poll. So yeah, listen to him. Go to the polls. Yeah, talking to you, Virginia. Talking to you, Ohio. Mm-mm, there it is. My first drink of the day. Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Many of you know my my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics and Zbiotics. Check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine. I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com/slash political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now. <laughs> 